guy's name up, but I got sucked into the Lewis Rossman's channel. I did another episode about him before. I think I originally stumbled upon him during where when COVID hit. He was probably doing something about. I think he did one about Bank of America and the and the PPP loans. And I'm not a fan of Bank of America at the moment. And this guy ends up in the algorithm, and now like I'm as his videos are popping up all the time. And I just did another video about the Tesla Plaid, S Plaid, whatever it is. And uh, I saw the video he did about our electric cars affordable. And I figured I'll I want to talk about that one just for a minute because I've heard people say that, and uh, more people should have electric cars and. The way people talk sometimes, you can tell that they've never struggled for anything in their life. They kind of come from that, you know, upper middle class, both parents are still married, um, never missed a meal in my life, sent me off to college type of vibe. And I grew up where neither my parents made it past the eighth grade and probably got six marriages between them. And, uh, you know, my father worked in a steel factory, so we, we didn't have much money. And I rem remember what it was like to be broke. And the thought of, like, buying cars at this price is mind-blowing to me. And I hear people, and I think that's, and I don't want to put words in Lewis's mouth, because I wasn't 100% paying attention to the episode. But I think he was kind of making the point that when you don't have much money, this this isn't affordable. Um, when I was growing up, you didn't see a lot of new cars in the neighborhood, unless the people actually worked for the big three. And even when I drive back home now, when I drive through my old neighborhood, you don't you see cars that are five, ten years old or beat up. You don't see a lot of new cars down there. And if you do, they're not expensive new cars. So you see, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollar used cars all day. Um, so I figured I'd pull this up really quick. I mean, this is a seven year old Tesla. I mean, this is an S. I'm sure that was it was a three even out back then. I don't think so. Don't quote me on that. So uh, a Model 3 would probably be cheaper. Um, but $46,000. That's not that's not affordable <laughs> for what, where I came from. We're out there <clears throat> buying cars probably 10, 15 grand right now. I mean, maybe 7,500 bucks for something that runs. So this is not in the uh, you know working class, lower middle class, and even for some, not even the middle class. You know, this is a middle class income, fifty something thousand, I think. You're buying a car that's, you know, a used car, for that matter. No, that's not affordable, man. Um, I realize there's a lot of people in this country that have no idea how the the rest of America lives. They you kind of live in a bubble, <clears throat> where, you know, yeah, you your parents had a decent life and you went off to a good college and you got out of school making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year and and you have no idea what it's like to be out there just broke. You know, how many times I was a teenager getting up in the morning having to crawl under my car and, and beat on the starter to try to get my car started because we didn't have the money to go replace a starter for whatever. <clears throat> 150, 200 bucks. Um when you saw that story about it costing $22,000 to replace a battery. This is something you got to keep in mind. When you're buying a car for ten grand because you're broke, you don't have $5,000 of cash sitting in the bank waiting to repair your car, let alone $20,000. Now, someone made a comment. I made a comment. I joked about this on Lewis's channel on the uh, battery. The, when the guy blew the car up or whatever for, for the... He don't want to spend $22,000 on the battery. And I made the comment that, hell, it'd probably be cheaper just to do an LS swap on it. Just for a joke. <clears throat> and someone came back and wrote a big comment to me saying, hey, um, this is, you know, Americans are short-sighted and they can't see the big picture. And even if you spent the money on the battery over 10 years, it would still save you money. And I'm like, well, that's cool. The problem is, you know, everyone I knew where I came from wouldn't have had $22,000 for a car repair, man. Like, <laughs> that's like, it's so crazy to think about that. So, A, even if they could afford a Model 3 or something that's uh, used for thirty grand, 
They couldn't afford a $15,000 battery repair. Are you, are you crazy? Like, this is not how, like, the bottom 80% of the country lives income-wise. It's one of those things, like, you know, an engine blows up. You might be able to go to the junkyard, get an engine, and get the whole thing replaced for, like, you know, three grand or something, if you're lucky. Um, and even then, you're putting that on a credit card, and you're stretching it out. Like, who's got 20 grand where I came from sitting around for a battery? So, I see there's a huge disconnect between... I mean, these are luxury cars. These are cars for wealthy people. Like, not everyone can afford the new $1,500 iPhone, for example. It's just, this is a premium brand. Um, and I feel that's almost all electric cars right now. I make the joke that I went and bought a golf cart for the marina, and the first quote came back at, like, 8500 bucks. And I'm like, eight grand for a flipping golf cart? Are you out of your mind? And, uh, yeah, it showed me some other models that would fit the size of the marina. Like, I got it down to, like, was it 6000 something? I don't remember. For a golf cart. For a goddamn golf cart. So, what, do you think electric cars are going to get down to, like, 15000 And have all the technology and airbags and uh, backup camera and all the other things that the right crumple zone and all the things that meet the government regulations? It's not happening. Like... Cars are expensive, and electric cars are even more expensive, so electric cars are way out of reach right now, even in the long term, for the working class, lower, middle, and middle. Um, dual income, you know, family making 50 grand, 100 grand a year, and then you pay taxes, and you got, you know, whatever, 70 grand left over, you're saving for retirement, you pay for your house, health insurance, food, travel, all that. How much money do you have left over for cars? It sounds like a lot of money until you realize everything's gotten really expensive lately. So I don't know. I just thought, I've heard a lot of people say the same things Lewis was talking about on that episode, and I realize they have no idea what it's like to be broke, what it's like to be out there grinding, to be in debt, to have like no way out, and just talking about how more of these people need to buy electric cars and they're affordable. And maybe it's affordable to you. That's a relative statement. But where I came from, none, none of this stuff's affordable. And everyone says, well, buy them used. You know, then they become more affordable. Well, then you can't afford the repairs. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you couldn't afford the car to begin with and then you buy it used, are you going to be able to afford the $20,000 battery fix? Yeah, I mean, most people where I came from are lucky if they, they're living check to check. You ain't, ain't going to have ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 sitting around to uh pay for any repair on an electric car so we go we go back around where i'm from you know everyone's got bad brakes and, and bald tires <laughs> like we're not we're, we didn't have that kind of money so and we weren't living that bad but to think that we got that much disposable income to make the monthly payment on this thing and afford the repairs down the road or, yeah, that's not affordable, man. Since when is a seven-year-old car for $46,000 affordable? But anyways, I found that to be an interesting episode because I've heard a lot of people say that. And a lot of times I just bite my tongue. Sometimes it's worth telling my own story because it's like, man, do you have any idea what it's like to be broke? Um, and I realize a lot of people just don't. If you got money for a $90,000 uh, Tesla, there's a high chance that, you know, you don't know what it's like to... Just struggle and get by. Um, sometimes we live in these bubbles in completely different worlds and we don't understand what the rest of the world lives like. But anyways, do you think electric cars are affordable? Drop a comment below.